Do you want to speak Spanish fluently? I imagine that's why you're here. You want to know what's the best way, what's a simple way. I'm going to tell you something so simple. I'm going to make it so easy for you. And you're going to think, all right, I can do that. But first, I just want to let you know what the problem is. People think that when, they're, when it comes to learning a language, a second language, the biggest problem is that you can't see the finish line, right? You see other people do it. You just wonder, when will that ever happen for me? Or will it ever happen? You probably think like that. I'm telling you, it will happen. The finish line, when you finally feel like, now I speak Spanish fluently, that can come. And I'm going to tell you a huge trick in how to get there. It's just something you need to do. You need to speak to people in Spanish, and it's not very expensive at all. You can find native speakers. This is one of the best things. You can find native speakers who will speak to you in little conversations for half an hour or an hour for as little as six, seven, eight dollars an hour. If you're learning Spanish, it's one of the best things. Now, of course, there's a whole, all different price ranges if you want some type of professional teacher, but you really don't need that. You just need to start speaking to people. No matter what your level is, get on there and put the responsibility on them as the teacher. Because you're, you're probably going to feel like, oh, I can't do that. My level is so low. What would I say? I need to learn more Spanish before I go and learn more Spanish. Just stop thinking like that. Go start talking to somebody. Find somebody in, and I mean, there's so many countries to choose from. Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Mexico. In all of these countries, you're going to find tutors as low as, say, $8 an hour, $7 an hour. I've seen it. And they speak Spanish perfectly. And you can just try a different teacher each time until you find somebody or a tutor each time until you find somebody you like. So there's like no excuse. And on top of that, you can study out of books with tapes and all other activities, which are good, right? Learning vocabulary and grammar, you need that. But you also need to just speak with native speakers. You will learn so much. So balance it out. Speak with native speakers. Do your studies, take a class, do a course, watch videos, read out loud, listen to music in Spanish. But you need to speak to native speakers because they're using the real language. You need to hear the real language. So I'm going to leave the link to the site where I tutor on. And I'm not saying that you need to take classes with me. It's called italki. Uh, and there are many different sites like this. If you don't like this one, find another one. But I'll leave the link down there. And then once you get onto the site, it doesn't cost anything to get on there. You can just explore, look around, see the wide variety of teachers. And I'm telling you, after English, Spanish teachers is the number two group of teachers. There's, I don't know, something like more than 800 teachers to choose from and tutors from all the different Spanish speaking countries in the world. So look at them. You can watch a little video, hear their voice, how they speak, and then give it a try. And you'll see it's really not very expensive. So I definitely recommend doing that. You can take classes with me too. I, I'm, I'm a professional teacher, so I give all types of classes too. You really need to do this. Everybody who speaks Spanish fluently has at one time or another had an experience where they were speaking with people. There's how else can you become fluent in a language but by using the language and speaking to people? Now, some people will say that's all you need to do, and I disagree with that. I think you need a balance. The the fastest and the best uh, learners I've seen are when people combine study, vocabulary, some type of plan, and speaking with native speakers. So I'll leave that to you. I hope you find the teacher that you're looking for.